Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to McDonald's. 50 today. And I'm invited. <laughs> oh, we got a party bag as well, okay. Star order. Oh, okay. Let's have a look what's on there. Oh, <coughs> ultimate party food. Let's see. I don't know where you guys are at in your life, but I gotta rest assured, you are most definitely never at your lowest point because Becky Jones is celebrating McDonald's' birthday at the restaurant and she knew exactly when the date was. I didn't even know McDonald's had a birthday. Apparently this was only like a week ago or something like that and I had not known this was occurring. But for some reason, for Becky Jones, I've, I've come to the realization that she just has like, I don't know if she's getting like email notifications or like companies are sending her letters in the mail to try to tell her like, yo, uh, we know you, like you're gonna spend at least $80 at our restaurant. So, and you come through basically every single day. We're gonna let you know that McDonald's birthday coming up. It could actually not even be their birthday. This could actually just be a facade just to get Becky in the restaurant more, more of the time. So they spend an extra, I don't know, 80, 60, 70, 40 bucks at the McDonald's. And, you know, for somebody like Becky Jones, this is a daily occurrence for her. I don't know how many times I've literally seen her roll up to a fast food place talking about, guys, they have a new menu item. And I'm always like, they do? What is the new menu item? What? How do you know that they have, what is this restaurant? I've never even seen this restaurant before and you know somehow it's a new menu item? Why do you, why do you want to know that? That's like crazy to me. But I also want to point out, too, uh, look at the calorie counts for these burgers, okay? So, 730 calories, 680 for that. Not much of a calorie difference, but you're paying a whole dollar more for, like, I don't even know, what is that, 50 extra calories? Not worth it, in my opinion. Just insane amounts of calories. And they always get you with this, right? Look at this shit. Birthday cake donut. Dude, McDonald's selling donuts is never is never going to be a good thing, dude. That's like... I don't even know what this would, the equivalent of this would even be. That'd be like going to Burger King and buying like a fish sandwich, like buy it at your own wrist type shit. Like, what are you even doing there, dude? That's disgusting. But the point I'm making is, how does Becky know about all this stuff? And how does, will she keep like up to date consistently on these things? Golly, breadthinners. Why are you, why are you like, damn, bro. The garlic bread dippers are literally a little bit less calories than the Big Mac. That's insane. Oh, I guess they're a little bit more money, which is kind of crazy, but still. Right, okay, it's all here. Let's say what it's about. Okay, so first of all, we've got the double Big Mac. You, you didn't need a double Big Mac, bro. That's crazy, bro. That shit was literally 700 calories, dude. Damn, Becky. I want to put this into context real quick. Most women only really need about, let's say, 2,000 calories a day. This sandwich alone is like, what, a full, a third of that? It's a third of that, right? That's like a third of your entire day just for the sandwich. And if you're looking at that sandwich, dude, and you're thinking that shit looks good, it's not. It looks dried up. This shit looks like some <laughs> dusty, dragged out sandwich, bro. It looks like somebody back, back in, the, in the back stepped on it a little bit. It's not good. And you know what? It could just be the fact that Becky's hands are so goddamn massive, but it also looks really small. So if I'm getting a burger, I want it to be wide. I like a wide burger because it makes me feel like I'm eating a lot more. And of course, you can just smush down the the the, the meat, which is something I do. But this burger does not seem worth it in my opinion. But like I said, it could just be the fact that her fingers are just massive, which I wouldn't even put it past her. Her fingers are literally ginormous. Back, so it's obviously two Big Mac burgers there. And she's, always, the she's always touching the inside of the food is something I've realized too. Like just grab the burger and eat it. Why are you putting your fingers in between the buns, bro? Can you stop doing that shit? So like, this looks sloppy too. It kind of looks like they just threw everything together on one side and just like left it there, bro. Literally, I think you have more lettuce on the outside of your burger than the inside. It's massive. Why are you touching then it like that? we've got some cheesy garlic bread dippers. Okay. Paige has got the munchies and um, Oreo. No. Munchies. Setting a bad example for the people around you, dude. You guys gotta calm down with that shit, dude. It's just like, look, I understand you're going out to eat, but if you're going out to eat with Becky, Becky is literally going out to eat every day at minimum. And if she's not going out to eat, she's order Uber. She's probably ordering Uber Eats three or four times just to counter that. So I would never be going out with Becky. I mean, maybe if she's paying for it, you know, let me be honest here for a second. If Becky was paying for it, dude, I would probably buy the food. I probably wouldn't eat it. I would probably just keep it in my freezer. So I have it for later. God, because I don't eat to the same degree that Becky does. She's literally just out here going to McDonald's. Seems like every single day. And I don't even have a problem with Mickey D's. Like, if I'm going to Mickey D's, I'll get a QP. 
uh, I'll get a QP and I'll get a, maybe I'll get a coffee with it. I'll always get a coffee at McDonald's, right? I got 2,200 points just from the coffee at McDonald's. So a lot of people um, don't realize that the coffee is actually okay at McDonald's. It's only a dollar too. I mean, you get what you pay for. It's not supposed to be the best. I don't know what, you, what you're expecting. Like if you go to McDonald's and you're expecting like high quality food, it's never going to be high quality. It's literally the lowest of the low. I mean, the Puerto Rican guy behind the counter can barely speak English and you're over here telling him, what kind of coffee do you want? A regular dude, two cream, two sugars. And he's like, how many sugars is that? Literally two? Like, I don't even what you mean. Like how many? I said two and two. That should automatically tell you what else you're going to put in it. But it doesn't matter. Like, it's always a, a side quest just to get the order relayed to the guy and then also take a sip of the ice, take a sip of the iced coffee and then realize they put caramel in it. And you're like, ah, dude, you put caramel in that. And he's like, yeah. And you're like, nah, I didn't know, yeah. Nah, no, there is no, no, there is no, yeah. You, you, you fucking put this shit in there. I don't want that. Why the fuck did you think you would put this shit in my shit? So, no, uh, I don't know what the fuck we're talking about, by the way. This, what is it? Am I flurry? Then McFlurries are garbage, by the way. I don't care what anybody says. McFlurries are literally low-tier ice cream, okay? And I don't know if this is, like, surprising to anybody, but it's just sugary. All it is is just, like, you put your mouth on it. At least ice cream kind of has the flavoring of the ice cream itself. Whereas for McFlurries, all you're getting is just, just a massive, just a shotgun to the face of sugar, dude. And it melts very very quickly you have to eat this within a good 10 10 minute time frame otherwise it's done and i would even say faster than that and also uh like i said it's just sugar all you're tasting is sugar there's nothing to this so why are you even buying it well i guess it, we all know the answer to that becky is addicted to mcdonald's or Mackey's. oreo frap that's just an oasis and then an oasis can we just like please try to get water like, is there never an opportunity to get water, Becky? You know it's free, though, right? Like, if you buy all this stuff and you go, can I get a cup of water? They'll be like, yeah, yeah, of course. But, you know, Becky always got to get something else. And she got the birthday cake donut, which is diabolical. I can't even believe it. How much was it? How many calories was the birthday cake donut alone? Like, 400 calories just for the donut? God damn, Becky. Every excuse, literally, the burger and this alone is, like, over half of your calories. And then not even to mention the fries that you got and the Frappuccino. I mean, you probably sitting at well over 2,000 calories for the day. And people often wonder, how can Becky be getting... This is how. This is how she be gaining weight, dude. She literally out here body slamming McDonald's, okay? But think about this. She's eating well over 2,000 calories here. You only really need to eat 2,000 calories in a day. And she's doing that in one sitting. Now, she's going to be eating at least two, three, four, five times a day because, as you know, Becky uploads a lot. Well, maybe not right now. She's going through a whole bunch of drama right now, so she stopped uploading, and it's really sad. But regardless of that, Becky has an inability to not eat. So she's going to be uploading the video. She's going to be showing you exactly what she eats, and I know that she is because she wears the same clothes in each one of the videos. So I know that she's literally in the same day body slamming, going to different restaurants, buying different assortments of food, ice creams or chocolate shakes and shit like that. And she's sitting there body slamming it throughout the day, which is... I guess good for her mouth, but not good for her. The birthday donut. Yeah, so you got the large fry, the birthday donut, and she got the shake. Oh, I, I forgot about the fucking cheese dippers too, bro. This is probably like 2,500. Like, no, I lied. This is probably like 27, 2,800. Yeah, easily, easily, dude. That sandwich does not look good. The double Big Mac is insane, bro. That's just pure slop. And the fact that she has a Fitbit on too is so incredibly... Oh, she's got a Boston shirt on too, bro. That's disrespectful, man. Come on, dude. That what, what what kind of representation is this? I can't. We can't allow this. We can't allow this at all, dude. That's my hometown right there, dude. <laughs> at least she's chewing. I'll give her that. <laughs> this is what we do. No water. Why do we need water when we got... What did she say that was? Like a fruit punch or something like that, dude? I don't know, man. Why would we bother to get water when we could just drink fruit punches and shit? Like, obviously, water doesn't taste anywhere close to as good as fruit punch. But you know what? I think people are pussies for not drinking the water. Like, I understand that fruit punch is probably better delectable-wise, but it's also not good for you, and it's also not as hydrating. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the flavor of red fruit punch. I do. In my mouth, tastes really good. But you know what's really crazy about that? There's flavoring, and it will only add, like, really 5 calories or 10 calories at most, and you're out here drinking a whole-ass oasis, whatever that is. 
um, that would be worth like 160 calories, which is worth it for you, I guess, since I guess it really doesn't matter, given that if you're if you're about the 10,000 calories of literal garbage, I guess stack it on an extra, you know, what, 160 calories is like really nothing at all. So, I mean, it doesn't matter, to be honest, for somebody like Becky, but it's just really sad to say that. Also, that double chin is looking... <gasps> Damn, you know what's crazy about that double big, the double Big Mac is, it's it's tall, it's tall, it's not big, but it's tall, the fact that she was able to get her whole mouth around that shit is impressive, I'll give her that, I, I'm not even gonna say anything bad about that, good for you, Becky. still not good, but you know. Why are you wiping your mouth off, dude? I, I never understood the people that, like, if you're a professional muncher, dude, if you're body slamming consistently throughout the day, forget about wiping your mouth. You don't need to do that shit. Have your mouth be liquidated. Have your mouth be juiced up. Because at the rate that you're going, it doesn't matter, dude. Your, 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 your mouth is going to be busted down within, like, a period of a few seconds anyway, dude, right? Like, you, you, like you're leaving a gangbang or something. Why? You know what I'm talking about? Like, you ever see a girl in a, in a video or maybe even a guy, depending on what you're watching, in the middle of it going like... <sighs> Can I get a napkin real quick? Can I get a real quick napkin before I go to the next one? You never see that, dude. So don't, don't even bother, dude. And it's, like, it's even worse, too, because it's the same, it's the same sandwich. Okay, let's see what the donut looks like. It's probably just trash. Okay, so yeah, it's just a basic, like, little Debbie's donut. Like, I want everybody to know that this is not, like, a quality donut. This is just some bullshit that you could probably just buy in the bakery section at your local, you know, whatever you got, bro. Your, your Kmart, your Stop and Shop, your Walmart, whatever, your grocery section there. You could buy these next to the little Debbie's. They're slightly better quality, but that's only because they don't come with that same slick that every single Little Debbie's food has, which I'm not afraid to admit it. Every single time I've ever eaten Little Debbie's in my life, which has been copious, okay? It's always coated with some kind of slick. Like, it's always like you grab it, and it's like a 25% chance that you grab it's going to immediately slip out of your hand like a bar of soap almost. It's a donut. Let's give it a little bite. I don't want it What do you mean a little bite? You know you body slamming that shit. What do you... I, never, I, I just I never understand how Becky can be like, let's give it a little bite. You bought a whole donut for your mouth, and you're over here talking about a little bite. Don't lie to me. Another bite. Let's see how big the bite Let's is. See what it's like. Big as fuck. Mm. It's it's McDonald's, dude. Like anybody that says mm, after eating McDonald's, dude, suck me off. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like honestly speaking, dude, you got no taste buds at this point. If you're sitting here eating McDonald's donuts, and you're over here talking about mmm, Becky. Let's, you can eat Oprah Winfrey's ass, and I'm sure you'd say the same shit. It's not good. It's really fucking not. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, bro. This shit is literally fermented. Put jam in it as well. Yeah, no shit. It literally showed the jam on the... What are you talking about? Like, are you just trying to come up with reasons to eat more of it? You don't need a reason. You could just eat it. Like, I literally saw at the very beginning of the clip when you were looking at the donut, it literally had... It literally had the jelly on the inside. I saw it on the, on the poster thingy. So, like, when you say... Oh my god, it's got jelly on the inside. I know, and you knew too. I don't know why you acted surprised about that shit. You acting brand new for no reason. Maybe one more bite. Yeah, I knew it, bro. How many more how many one more bites you need to finish it? That's the real question. Uh there's no limit, honestly, on the one bites. Uh you might as well just go for the whole all the one bites, because why not? Looks like that filter kinda working a little bit OD on this one. What where, where are your pores at? finish it okay, now it's uh, you know what to be honest if you're telling me you're only gonna have two bites of that donut but you're about to suck down a mcflurry oh my god you might just eat the fucking donut dude just eat the fucking donut why does it matter a mcflurry is like 800 calories dude it's just literally like deep fried ice cream almost you might as well who cares nobody cares becky just eat that shit we all fucking know you be body slamming all day it literally doesn't even matter i've literally seen you like eat five like Anytime I've ever seen this woman try to eat better, it's always like the worst portion size controls of things. She'll be like, oh my god, guys, like, I just had a sandwich. And then you look at the sandwich, it's like four times the serving size, and each serving's like 300 calories. And she thinks it's 300 calories for the whole thing, but she just ate like 900, 900 calories. Try this, I've been wanting to try it for ages. No, what do you, I don't, you know what, bro? I'm just sick of Becky. I'm just sick of Becky saying that shit, like, Oh my god, I've always wanted to try this. Everything? Like, literally, I just have... I'll, oh my god, I've always wanted to try this. And right after that, just say everything. Because obviously, it doesn't... I'm pretty sure Becky has eaten stuff like this before. I've literally seen her drink, like, three or four 
McFlurries before my I've literally seen her drink different different varieties of McFlurries. So this doesn't matter to me. I know you've drinking McFlurries before. There's almost no difference between one or the other. Sure, this one it might have Oreos in it, but like what so the fuck what? You've had the Reese's one. Basically the same shit. Just put like just imagine Oreos. Well, since I see it coming out. Damn, that shit's going down quick. Damn. Oh. Bro, she took three big giant slurps of that shit, bro. Damn, Becky. Oh, damn. Page day sap. What, what happened to your eyes? Like, your eyes are slowly but surely becoming more and more depleted. What, what is up with that, man? It almost kind of seems like she doesn't even have eyelashes anymore. Like, they're being suffocated under the pure layers and layers and layers of fat. What's going on with you, Becky, dude? Get your shit in order. Nice eye, that. Don't act like you, you're actually tasting it. Don't do this... You're not tasting it. I literally just saw you suck down four gulps before you even took a breath. There is no tasting involved here. I like it. Okay, yeah, I hope you fucking like it. They make it for a reason, obviously, dude. This shit's supposed to be delectable in your mouth. Damn, that shit's done. Damn, you killed mm. that shit? So, to be honest, I'm not that impressed with this. It's got no taste throughout it. So it's got no taste, huh? But you literally just told me that shit was good in your mouth. You literally just got through telling me that shit was taste good and you loved it and you quite liked it. Literally, your words, not mine. And now you're sitting there going, it doesn't have any taste. And now you're sitting here sucking it down even harder because it has no taste. Becky, I got to tell you something right now. Just literally what I said. It's just sugar. It doesn't taste like anything in particular. It doesn't matter what it is. It's only ever going to taste like sugar, okay? I was out with somebody and they were like, dude, David, can I get this like grandma irma shit on the fucking thing and i was like ah, i don't know like yeah sure we'll go get it right i bought it for this particular individual and it was like five dollars by the way which is insane i'm thank god i didn't look at the price tag of that grandma irma shake or whatever that thing was because i would have just off principle walked out of the mcdonald's just off the idea of that thing costing five dollars it was a medium too but anyway she was drinking from it and she was like this shit tastes bad david and i said I spent $5 on it and it tastes bad. And then I put my lips to it and I thought, yes, this is bad. This doesn't even taste remotely good in any way, shape or form. I would quite literally rather slide my lips across a glory hole multiple times while BBCs were entering it than it would have been to eat the, the McFlurries. I don't know what to tell you guys, okay? I know a lot of people make jokes about the ice cream machine not working. It's actually a good idea that they're not working, to be honest, because uh, the McFlurries are literally just bottomless calories that are taste like every other kind. And you know what, for somebody like Becky, I guess it doesn't matter because honestly speaking, like even though it doesn't have any taste, Becky, it still has calories. So when you suck that shit down while saying it doesn't have any taste, that actually makes it worse because now if you know it has no taste, you're just eating it to eat it. Um. To be honest, I'm not that impressed with this. It's got no taste throughout it. No shit. But you're still sucking that shit down, right? You literally body slammed over half of it at this point. What the fuck you talking Don't... You know, it really... I don't really like sucking BBC at all. Like, you know, putting penis in my mouth, I would never... Re Hold up, actually. <laughs> <sighs> Anyway, so I don't really like doing that at all. It's the same shit here. When you, if you're telling me that you don't like the, the food, don't eat it. You're good. You you can literally put that shit right there on the table and nobody would bat an eye. You're good, Becky. You're doing yourself a service. But I guess, you know what? Nah. Suck it down regardless. You know what? Even though it don't taste that good and it's necessarily not very good at all for you. Suck. Fuck it, dude. Just keep sucking that well, shit, right? Yeah. I'm going to leave that bit. Paige doesn't want to eat that. Yeah, she lying, bro. She's sucking that shit. The donut she, was you know what's crazy too is she talking about some. You know well, what? I'm just gonna leave yeah. it. Like after I already body slammed half of that shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm just gonna leave that shit right here. I guess. I'm gonna leave that bit. Paige doesn't want to eat that. The donut was really good. I'd give that. Keep keep in mind. Keep, keep in mind. She said the donut was really good. That shit's gone. Cause show us the donut real quick. Show us that donut real quick that you took two bites out of. Uh, how much is left? Like it's still just that two bites you took, huh? How, where is it actually? Um, you know what, Becky? Where that donut like that you just said? Didn't you just say that you... I was looking at that donut earlier. I'm, I was going to see if I could take a bite of that other... Where, Where is that donut that you... Hold up. Be Becky, what, what is that on your mouth? For? I'm smelling something on your mouth right now. Is that the donut? Am I smelling the donut on your mouth right now? Yeah, I'm smelling that donut, bro. That's his big donut all over her mouth. She ate that shit. It's gone. Probably a 9 out of 10. A Sorry. 9 out of 10 for a... You know what, bro? I got to keep it a solid puck. Oh, my God. 
You did not ever, never ever review food in your entire life ever again. That's insane. You did not go to McDonald's and get a pre-made donut that was literally probably shipped from like Indonesia or something like that and sit there and try to tell me that shit was a 9 out of 10? Really? That's a 9 out of 10. That's interesting. That's actually very interesting to me because that pretty much reaffirms everything that I believed about you. You don't have taste buds. You don't give a fuck what the food tastes like. There's no, there's no way on God's green earth that donut was a 9 out of 10. I refuse to believe it was probably maybe a 5 or a 4. And I'm okay with admitting that McDonald's food is average. They're supposed to make it delectable enough for your mouth. It's average, bro. I'm not, I've never had that donut. I never plan on having that donut. And I can't get it anymore because they stopped making it. Because McDonald's birthday is over, so. But the point I'm making is, is not a 9 out of 10. Becky does not know how to rate food, bro. She has no taste buds left. Really good. Double Big Mac, obviously. We know what Big Mac tastes like. But it's double. I'm going to give that probably an 8. That's, you know what, man? Yo, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Becky, bro. 8 out of what? Like, what is the high end on this shit? Is it a 10 or is it a 50? What the fuck is the high end on that, bro? Are you rating it in reverse? Is 1 the highest? Really? A Big Mac is an, an 8? All right, Becky. All right, man. Paige, what would you give for McFlurry? Fucking literal two, maybe a two? Because a one would be like, I could not eat this. A two would be like, it's in my mouth and it's, uh, I'm not going to spit it out. A nine. <laughs> yeah, all right, bro. Oh, Paige right. gives the McFlurry a nine. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Paige is on some different shit. Um, but yeah, obviously there's other stuff on the menu. The oh, the garlic bites. What would you I give them? Page four and eight, I a two. Okay, you know what, Becky, bro? You don't make any sense. Like, how can you ever... You're not rating my food, bro. You know what? I'm never looking at this woman as anything other than a facade, bro. Because it's got stringy cheese in it. But the flavors were good, weren't they? What, are you, what, what the fuck are you... Because it has stringy cheese in it? Is that really where we're going for that? Okay. Oh, no, whatever, bro. Go ahead, man. It definitely does taste like garlic bread, though, doesn't it? I wonder why the garlic bread tastes like garlic bread. What? All right, man. I don't know why Becky just points out the most obvious shit. But, but yeah, happy birthday, happy 50th birthday, McDonald's. Where are your eye? Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Um, so for breakfast today, I'm actually just having normal breakfast. Um, just some the most children-looking cereal you can possibly find, dude. Ah, <sighs> Becky. Like, this isn't a normal cereal. Like, they actually advise against eating cereal for breakfast because you're getting almost no nutritional value from it because it's all carbs. And that might be okay for somebody like me who probably needs to gain a little bit more weight. But for somebody like you, it's literally not. Like, 90% of your diet is already carbs. So you don't even need to be eating this shit at all. But you know what, Becky? If you count this as normal, I'm definitely not. But it's I. Right. Cocoa Pops, the... Choco shells, That's what and it's called. chocolate too. So it's like double on, double it up. I actually that bowl prefer. is big as fuck. God damn, that bowl is big. Is this even a cup? Is this something you put a a plant in to grow? Is that a pot? Why is this shit so goddamn big, bro? Her serving sizes on these food choices are massive, dude. Look how massive that bowl is. That's just like eighteen inches deep. Are uh, these ones of these? But All right, chill, chill, chill. That's enough. That's good. That's, that's good. Everybody. That's good. The weather is it's good. Quite it's good. Today, so it's good. About that. <gasps> Let's have a big <gasps> Um, and also as well, it's a lot of school oh. ending today for the summer. My little nephew Parker has finished his first year in school. <gasps> Can't believe that. He's not even five yet. Oh my five God, all right, bro. All right, Becky, bro. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. What the fuck are you doing right now? You you can't do anything right. There's literally no way this woman can... I cannot believe I just saw that. Did you dust like... What did you... Did you just dust like three-fourths of the box in that, in that bowl? I gotta let you know something, right? Well, how many serving sizes are in those boxes? Like five, six, seven, eight serving sizes, bro? Did she really just dust more than half the box for one bowl? Get these, bro, your fucking serving sizes are crazy. Get these, uh, all the cups, all the bowls, all the spoons, all the plates. Get them out of your, get new, normal size silverware, please, Becky. That thing is massive, bro. What do you, I can fucking bench press that bowl, dude. Jesus Christ. I think it's massive. And he's absolutely smashed it. Um, so yeah, that is good. Um, oh. Right, I'm gonna make a cup of tea as well. What, no water I've though? I've also got my apple juice. Is it, okay, you know what, bro? Like, 
All right, bro, you know, just add calories wherever we can, right? Fuck it. Else like that, like has to have apple juice and no. hot drink. It's usually just hot water for me. And hot drink, should I say. Um, so put that in there. Oh. So yes, so it's the weekend. Um, I think like this week's gone super, super fast as well. That fucking bowl is bigger than her head. Damn, that shit is big as hell, bro. Am I wrong? Can you guys leave it down below in the comment section, dude? That's got to be at least three servings or four servings of that cereal, bro. No joke. I'm not playing with you, bro. And it's 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 children's cereal, which I can kind of forgive for children since they're, like, going to run around and stuff like that. Becky doesn't even walk. No, for these. No, please. Mmm. Mm -mm. Whatever, bro. Also, as well. My tea last night was absolutely delicious. Hey, can we talk about anything other than the food? Like, I don't know what, like, it, is this really all you have? Is it just, hey guys, I'm about to eat this food, but while I'm about to eat this food, let me talk about the food I ate last night. It's just kind of depressing, dude. Like, I, there's got to be more to life than this, right? Like, you don't got hobbies? There's, not, there's nothing else you can do? Like, you got a lot of free time? You just spend that shit putting food in your mouth? Just filling up your throat? Really? You don't got a boyfriend, dude? There's not, like, a movie that you want to go see? There's not, like, anything, dude? Like, you don't got shit going on? You just eating? That's it? Those nuggets are so nice. What are you um, talking about? So, a lot of people are asking how much they were. I think, like, just under 10 pounds. They were talking about the calories, dude. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense, dude. 10 pounds of calories. For the full bag. She got a sandwich back there, too. You guys see the sandwich? This fucking sandwich just chilling back here with a, some chips, too, man for the full bag obviously um you got so many in them then like i said they're a really decent meal but loads of people were saying like do um like oh you should have added salt and pepper and made like mayflower curry with it she fucking Which, damn bro don't you, you put the milk in a little bit later damn you really pouring that milk into that cup bro that's kind of crazy bro how much milk you need in tea that's a lot of fucking milk. She just poured the hot water in there, like literally, like what, ten seconds ago. Give me an idea, Damn. because that is happening. That's a next lot of week. milk. Um, salt and pepper, chips and chicken. Because doesn't that like if you, you want it to be hot, right? You want the flavoring from the bag, so you you kind of leave it in there, right? If with the hot water, let it ferment a little bit. Does go perfect when you think about it. But yes, it is a lovely day. Thankfully. Bro, she, I'm um, blog, bro. She let that shit marinate. She let the bag marinate in there for like literally 20 seconds. Not like 20 seconds, right? That's got to be like a grand total of 20 seconds. Into, it, that's not normal. That's not normal to have the, the tea bag in the cup for that. I don't even drink tea. I think tea is like the gay version of coffee, but it's fine. If you drink tea, you could be gay. I don't drink it. I know for a fact that you're supposed to have the tea bag literally in the cup for like a minute or two minutes, right? Am I wrong on that? 20 seconds plus is being diluted with the milk. Uh, are you even flavoring it at that point? You might as well just like put that shit in the toilet bowl, bro. Because the weather has not been the best. So, yeah, it's just water. It's just milk and water. Okay, I've got that to go out with when I finish my breakfast. Again, got my apple juice, got my breakfast. Your breakfast is like literally 800 calories, bro. Or more. <sighs> Spoon so big can't even fit in her mouth. Mmm. Now I know, how, now I know, like, a lot of people will be like, damn, David, she kind of big from the size, dude. She kind of big from the front, too. I love watching the birds in the garden. <laughs> I always think to myself, they're going to come in one day and she'll be like, hello. Yeah, you're not Cinderella. You're not. You're really not Cinderella, dude. You're never going to have the option to have communications with animals. You're not Dr. Doolittle, okay? Your name's not Eddie Murphy. You're not going to sit there and communicate with the animals. Animals probably will be scared to approach you, bro, because they're fear of looking at you as like a bear or something like that. It's got, man, that's tough. Dude. You know, I think Becky's a good person. You know what I'm talking about? I know she had that big controversy with... Uh, all right, let me rephrase it. It's not that I don't think she's a good person. I just think that she's probably like a really neutral person, right? I know she's having that controversy right now with her her little cousin that was five years old that got kicked out. If you guys don't know, it was a big controversy. She put out a whole big tweet and things like that. We went over it on stream. If you ever know, like I, I'm probably streaming right now. I don't know. But for Becky, she, uh, her, her, I think Portia or like one of her cousins goes to the dance recital and they show up there. If you guys have ever seen the, what I, the, the, the Becky Jones videos, you know that she shows up to the dance recitals and just kind of eats. Like that's what she does. She just sits there and eats for like 45 or like two hours long, however long the dance recitals are. Uh, it just kind of seems like Becky has a hard time never not eating. But anyway, um, one of her other cousins decided to go to the same dance recital, but Becky was like, nah, 
no, I don't like that. How old is she? Five? I don't like that. No, she can't go. And it was because the person bringing them to the dance recital uh, was somebody that Becky didn't like. So as a consequence of that, that five-year-old was no longer able to participate in the dance recital, which is really fucked up. And I didn't really say anything about it because I didn't really know the truth. I People could have overblown it. But on the TikTok uh, she put out, she did admit to it fully. And she said it was like not a big deal or something like that, which is crazy because like i'm over here thinking that it wasn't like oh no come on we're missing context nope she just flat out said that yeah i did it so what i was just flipping off it's a bird yeah they have wings did you not know about that that'd be like watching a guy walk and be like oh my god he just walked off mm -hmm. i'm sure the bill's in the nest um anyway sorry i got too fixated on um the birds let's have an apple juice oh my dad found something why are you out of breath like what do you what is it good with your respiratory issues? Becky needs to go to the fucking hospital, man. <laughs> yeah, what anyway. is that? What is that, like, wheezing, bro? Is that your, like, belly button squeaking, bro? What's and going on? and nephews, you ever find random stuff like this in your car? And you're like, who's is that? <laughs> what about, like, the rappers? What about, like, all the McDonald rappers and, like, all, <laughs> all the napkins and the cups and all over that shit? Which ones is it? Right, I'm going to go and enjoy this anyway. Well. What? Why Why are you out of breath? Like, Becky Real Deal has a lot of issues, man. I feel like she, them shits are creeping up, bro. She's, what, 32 right now? 32, 33 years old? Bro, you don't have a long time before your body starts, like, straight up going, like, fuck you. We're not doing this shit anymore because, like, you keep abusing your body. Your body will only tolerate that shit for so long before it just gives up on certain things you can't mistreat it's like being in an abusive relationship dude you can't beat your girlfriend for four months and then just not think that she's gonna microwave your hamster or leave you or something like that dude like it's it's domestic violence upon your body literally so like can we please start like taking care of our significant other aka your body have this um just a nice simple breakfast but it's yeah. not simple like it's just i mean sure no you know what it's simple simply goddamn big that shit's big as fuck hope that you're all okay and ready for the weekend and let me know your plans for the weekend becky be fixing her hair thinking that she's doing something when the reality of the situation is becky's like a three <laughs> like she's real deal like what are you even doing with your hair at this point dude why why do you even care about your hair why are you doing the highlights why do you make up like honestly speaking if i look like that bro i'll be i'll be in the gym i don't give a fuck if i sweaty bro my hair was busted whatever it's okay to have you take care of yourself like this but I always see these people taking care of their hair and their makeup more than they've ever taken care of their body. And I think this is probably more effort to understand makeup palettes and blending it into your neck and other shit like that than it is to understand nutrition, which is just calories in, calories out. Like, just get an understanding of how much you're eating in a day and just eat less than that. Love you all. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my Why You In A Day. So for my breakfast, I made some chocolate chip pancakes. Whenever she eats... One thing I've peeped about Becky is that whenever she eats fruit, it seems to always be coated in some type of chocolate. Like, she just can't eat the fruit by itself. Like, it has to be covered in something else. And I had some strawberries on with some of the chocolate drizzle sauce. Now, these strawberries are from Costco, and they are honestly the freshest, nicest, juiciest strawberries I've okay. ever had. No water. And then look at this very okay. cherry sunny day. I love sunny day. So I had a nice glass of this a little bit later on and a penguin bar. Do we class penguin bars as a biscuit or a chocolate bar? I... God damn, bro. God damn. God damn, bro. What is this? Is it, So you got a burger, a double burger, some fries, some nuggets, and some pizza? God so damn. Bar. Anyway, for my tea, I had a double like cheeseburger with some tomato sauce. Why is she, look at this fucking face, bro. Look at this face she does, bro. Like, why is she cringing when she does it? Like, almost kind of like the food she's eating is made out of rocks or glass or something like that. Like, what is it? You barely have any eyes to begin with. I almost can't even see your eyes open r normally. And the fact that you have to squint them so goddamn hard here. For what? It's not, e it's, it's pizza. Like, what's in the pizza for you to be squinting this hard? Some chips, garlic bread, and some nuggets on the side. Yes, it might seem like three separate meals. What do you, why? It is three separate meals, first of all. A burger and fry, okay? A burger and fry, and then you have the nuggets and fries, which is a separate meal. And then the pizza and fries, which by the way is an overkill. Pizza is good enough. You don't need fries with the pizza, but I'll give it to Becky since she's big, big backed. So I'll give her that. But it is three separate meals. You ate three separate meals here. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Or at the bare minimum, you ate three separate servings, uh, three separate sides. So, yeah, no. Meals to some, but that's only to some. It's my what do you mean only to some? Most people are looking at three... 
bro, you had a pizza, you had the nuggets, and you had the fries. Though at the bare minimum, that's three different sides. Okay, at the most, depending on how much you ate of those things, you had three separate meals all at once. And I understand that you don't want to look at it like that because it's like, oh man, did I really just eat all that? Yeah. Yeah, 100% you did, and that's a factual statement. You body slammed that shit way too hard, Becky, and you're doing it too frequently, too. Like, it's one thing to eat like this once a month or twice a month, bro. To eat like this shit daily, bro, you it's not sustainable, right? Can we just take a moment? It's not sustainable, Becky. You need to chill back. What I'm putting it into, so, um, yeah, leave it alone. What do you mean, leave it alone? You can't tell people to leave it alone. That's not how that fucking works. You can't be like, yeah, I'm going to kill your wife. I'm going to kill your wife, and I'm going to do it right now, and I'm going to stab her right now, and what are you going to say about it? Like, you think it's bad? You think it's bad? Oh, well, leave it alone. What do you mean, leave it alone? You can't just be body. You can't do what you're doing and think that people aren't going to comment on that shit. It's obvious, Becky, but Becky's on that boat of like, oh, don't comment on people's eating habits, even though my entire TikTok is dedicated to my eating habits. It just doesn't make sense. Becky is literally not made to talk. I got to keep it a buck. I feel like anytime Becky opens her mouth, it should just be for the intake of food at this point because her ability to talk is severely diminished. I really just don't think that she is optimal in the realm of speaking and because every time she does, it just ends up being goddamn stupid or it just seems like she's lying for no other reason than just a lie. Like we all seen the proof. We all seen the ridiculousness. The fact that you want people to not comment on the fact that you're eating three separate meals here is telling. It's really telling. And the fact that you acknowledge it as, th as three separate meals is crazy. Because then you know it. You know the truth. But you're still going to do it. Which, you know what, Becky? If you just owned it, if you just came up and you were like, you know what, guys? Look, I know it's bad. I know it's not good. I know it's terrible for me. And you know what? You have the right to comment because I'm going to leave the comments on. I know it's bad, but fuck it. Ah, one life, YOLO. I'm going to body slam what I want. I know it's not good for me. I know I'm probably going to die at 45 or sooner. But guess what? It's my life. If she said that, that'd be fine. The fact that the, the, the fact of the matter, though, is she's sitting here telling people don't comment on it. You're fucking dumb, Becky. That's only to some. It's my body I'm putting it into, so. My body, right? Yeah, no, you're right. It's my, it's your body and it's my, it's your comment section, but I can comment on it, right? And I can, I can, I can react to the video, right, Becky? My, my body too. My body's watching your body do some crazy shit right now. And I'm having some reactions. Um. Yeah. It's such a bullshit way of saying anything, too. It's like, oh, it's my body, so I can do whatever I want. Uh, if you want to just, like, run that by me one more time, you could easily just say, I'm going to do what I want. Just say that. Like, the fact that you're going... You can't have it both ways. You can't be trying to appeal to people and say that this is okay to eat and then also say that you're trying to change because she has exercise videos or workout videos or, oh, guys, I'm going to be eating better videos or she cries about it where people when people comment on her shit. But then she has the audacity to sit there and go, but it's my body. I can do whatever I want. Why are you crying about it then? Then why are you trying to cater to people that you think are right or wrong? Like, what are you talking about, dude? Why do you want people to not comment on that shit if you're okay with putting shit in your body and posting it on the internet? Like, this woman literally makes zero sense at all and it like pisses me off that she she thinks she can have it both ways leave it alone <clears throat> then afterwards i had one of these bubbly white milk bars the whole thing i can't believe how tasty this was i think it bro every single time she takes a bite it's always like like she cringes so hard i i don't think i cringe that hard eating even like hard food no honestly loved it definitely she loves everything like it's just like everything she puts in her mouth is i loved it oh my god i loved it worth a try guys and that was everything but i hope you've all had a great weekend and i love you all i love you too becky i hope you get better it's takeaway night so tonight we have gone every night is takeaway night it's something i peeped uh becky has takeaway night literally every single night i don't know if you guys knew or like if, you, if you're new here it seems like if she doesn't get takeaway it's either she's getting it here like <clears throat> at the house or she's going out to eat so either way it's takeaway night for kebab shop but not kebab you'll see and um, because i didn't feel like a kebab to me. so let's have a so look what'd you get actually bit of a random one for me to be honest Got some nuggets. Well, it's not, that's not random at all. I've literally seen Becky eat nuggets like, pff, I, I don't even know. She's probably got like 100 videos on her account of her eating nuggets, and I'm not even exaggerating either. So it's most definitely not a random one. I don't know why Becky even says that shit. She really tries to downplay it anytime she eats something to make it seem like she's not doing something crazy. Look how good the nuggets look for they me. They look okay. They look fine, I guess. They look kind of thin, actually, dude. That shit looks anorexic to me. Damn, that shit's thin as fuck, bro. Hold up. Bro, that nugget is literally anorexic. Is that a chip? Yeah, they look so good. So we've got nuggets. Yes. Then in this one, 
we have got nuggets, cheesy chips, and Becky, you gotta calm down, okay? I don't know how many times I'll be watching your videos and I just see you pull out the most fermented looking food I've ever seen in my life. It, I, the, what even is this? Where'd you get this shit? What is MFC? I've never seen that shit. Motherfucking chicken? What is that, bro? Where, where, why would you even go to the restaurant and get this shit? This doesn't even look good. This looks like some kind of like remnant of a, I don't even know, like this looks like what Smeagol, Smeagol was going to turn into from the Lord of the Rings after he held onto the ring for too long. This looks terrible. This looks gross, bro. And gravy. That's not mine because, you know, I don't like my cheese like that. <laughs> I don't even know what you mean by that. What does that even mean? I don't like my cheese like that. I've literally seen you eat cheese like that. So, like, that, does that mean anything? No, it doesn't. So, anyway. And there. by the way, I'm going to keep it a buck. Why are you opening my food? If that was my food and you over here opening my shit up, showing everybody, hey, yo. Get your hands off my fucking food, bitch. That's what I'll be saying. Obviously, I would never say it to Becky because she's smell good of a person. No, she probably doesn't smell that good. But uh, don't touch somebody else's food, okay? I don't know how else to, like, unless you're my girlfriend or you're, like, somebody I care about deeply, I don't touch my shit. Just don't. Just never touch my shit. You ordered your food, I ordered my food. Don't touch my food. And then I got... I'm, I'm already ashamed. Bitch. Oh, it's the burger from earlier. Burger and chips. But look how nice. Big. Damn, burger that shit's looks. big. So it's like a double burger. That's just way bigger than I fucking thought. It looks bigger here than it did in the other clip. Damn, oh, Becky. Got this, um, what's it called? Paper. Paper. So I'm going to be having this. Oh, wait, which is already a fuck ton. With some nuggets. How you gonna take somebody else's nuggets, Becky, bro? This is fucked up. You already got your own meal. And you out here grabbing Porsche, whoever the fucking page is shit, just because you're hungry? You gotta satisfy your mouth this much? You gotta be eating off everybody else's plate, dude? Damn, bro. You heard about the phantom tax. You ever heard about the Becky tax, bro? Will she just take a literal quarter or half of what you got? Damn, that's... You're good, bro. Damn, bro. She took six of them. Six? You took six, Becky? God, I think there was only like nine or ten. There we go. And. And. We also got. This is really your highlight of your life, huh? Like, you, your highlight is literally just eating food. Is that really it? Like, is this all we got? Is this literally your whole life right now? Is just ordering food, take out all the time, in your mouth, be body slamming. You're, you're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger as a consequence of that shit. Like, what are we doing right now, Becky? Why is this so easy for you? How do you have this much money for all this fast food? I really want to know, bro. You're out here literally spending, like, I'm not even joking with you. She probably spends in a day. It's got to be at least 80 bucks a day. Uh, no joke. It's got to be at least 80 to 100 bucks a day on these fast foods, bro. This alone got to be the burger and fry. I can see you running 15, $15, maybe $16. The nuggets, probably like six, seven bucks. This cheese, whatever the fuck this thing is, probably like eight, nine, 10 bucks. Uh, so in total, that's like what, 35, 40 bucks on this whole thing? Yeah, bro, it's just like, how do you have that much money, dude? TikTok gotta be paying you well. Golly, bro, it's cause you can't beat the garlic bread from here. So um, that's the reason why you got it, not because you wanted that shit in your mouth. Go on, took it. So I literally never go for nuggets and Bro, Becky just be lying too much, bro. She got to calm the fuck. I don't give a fuck, Becky, honestly. You should never be going for nuggets in general. Why you even need that shit? These nuggets look amazing, so. But how is everyone? Better than you. What have you been up to today? Garlic bread. What, bro? What is these, what are these faces she does, bro? I don't know why she got to do these faces so fucking OD. And the chips are my favorite from here. Bro, how many times have I heard her say that same shit? Oh my god, McDonald's chips are so good. Oh my favorite. They're my favorite. I say, I hear it literally every single video. Because every video she eats, she eats chips. Let's have a bite of burger. That burger is fucking big as shit. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Look at the size of the, the, the fucking burger compared to the face. That's something different, bro. That's a big ass burger. Bro, why are you making these faces, Becky? It's not, it's a fucking cheeseburger, bro. You know, like, she makes his face like she's a zombie and she's biting into somebody's bone or something like that. Like, what are you fucking doing? Mm -hmm. 
It's dry. But that's everything. And I hope that you have a great dry ass Saturday fucking burger. And enjoy your Sunday tomorrow. Love you all. Love you too, Becky. Hi everyone. So I'm at Cheshire Roots. And obviously the new lint shop has well the lint shop has had like a renovation which are doing ice creams. So I'm gonna go and say um what it's like. How do you know about this? Like did they send you an update in the email? There was like, yo, bro, just to let you know, we sell an ice cream now, so make sure you come through. Yeah, Becky, make sure you come through and get that ice cream. There it is. Let's go and see. I think I'm gonna go for the twist chocolate. So it's a bit of both in it. Okay. Yeah, chocolate, please. Could just dive in all of that. Becky, you gotta leave, and bro. Cold drinks as Becky, well. gotta leave this place, bro. I don't think she can tolerate this. Oh no. Here is mine. You, you didn't need this shit. You was good. Like, you literally were good for the day, bro. And I want everybody to to peep that that same white shirt, bro. In that first clip we watched, she was wearing that same white shirt. She eats out literally. Like, I feel like, does she not do shit throughout the day? She literally just drives from fast food place to fast food place. That shit sounds like a fucking terrible life. Like, I know a lot of people might think that's a really great life. But you gotta think about, like, having the only joy in your life just be the food that you put in that shit. That's crazy. Can't wait to try it. Oh, the staff is so lovely in there. So, let's try mm. Oh. <laughs> yo, yo, Becky got to calm the fuck down, bro. Becky got to calm the fuck down, bro. That's not the type of no noises that you think you would hear eating ice cream. Maybe in some other environments, but... Oh, the staff is so lovely in there, so... Let's peep, peep the noise. Peep the... Mm. 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 Bro, it's just, uh, it's just forbidden. But wow, guys, honestly. It's ice cream. I don't care, like, honestly, if I'm being honest with you, dude, it's ice cream, right? Like, it's it's nothing special. It is what it is. Like, I like ice cream. I'm sure you like ice cream, too. But never in your life would you ever hear me moaning like somebody just hit my G-spot after taking a bite of some ice cream. Just some chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Whatever, bro. It's like, whatever, bro. What the fuck? That is a 10 out of 10. Isn't no, it? it's not. Yo, let's be honest here. Can we just please shut the fuck up for a second? You telling me this deluxe ice cream that you just got. You just told me this shit was good in your mouth. This shit's a 10 out of 10, but the donut was a 9 out of 10. Let that sink in for a second. The McDonald's donut was a 9. This is literally right next to that. <sighs> I bet. Yeah, it's going in it. It's dripping off my chin. Mmm. <laughs> so good, guys. Definitely. Refreshing in this weather, isn't it? You could have just got water. That shit would have been way more refreshing. Especially after a long day, bro. You get that that sweet liquid to touch your tongue. And that shit be dancing. Oh my god. That sweet liquidization upon my tongue feels so good. The lubrification making me wet all over on the inside, bro. Getting me wetter than an African child during typhoon season. I can't wait to try that little chocolate in a minute. Definitely the perfect weather for it as well. Because it's roasting today. So let's try the chocolate. a little bit of your hair too in that <laughs> it's just it's just chocolate like it's just fucking chocolate yeah. all right guys that's the end of the video i hope everybody enjoyed today's video if you did um let me know by leaving a like comment subscribe sharing the video all that stuff helps me grow in the algorithm thank you everybody that's a member of the channel already everybody that's subscribed you guys are all beautiful amazing specimens of humanity and i appreciate you tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety leave it down below by typing in napkin because becky needs that shit consistently dude she's always getting food all over herself she's always getting food i've literally seen videos of like the remnants from the like the previous day's food on her shit because she just can't stop herself from body washing literally hundreds and thousands of calories a day but regardless, Becky, I feel like even though she has a lot of problems, I still think that she's not that worse of a person. I mean, I'm from the from the individuals that I've seen, dude, she's like very, very high tier on the sense of like, you know, good people. But anyway, um, you're an amazing person, obviously. Uh, not not anywhere close to Becky, obviously. You're way farther and above compared to her. And cause that's because I know you take care of yourself. And I know you take care of people around you. And I know that you really care for your friends, your family, to make sure that you're taken care of enough to make sure that they're taken care of enough. And that's really, really beautiful. Anyway, um, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.